Hi guys, welcome back to Garage Tech Automotive. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about uh, relays and how they work. So in this particular example, I've got two, rel two relays here to show you. So we've got a four pin relay and a five pin relay. The four pin relay is the most common type that you'll come across. And five, five pin relay is also quite common. Um, but you will find there are relays with multiple different pin numbers on them. Um, but for, in this example today, I'm just gonna talk about the most common type. So this is the four and the five pin relay. If you watched my previous video, um, I spoke about what the relay is actually used for, and, it's, and I said it's for switching a low current circuit to a high current circuit. So if you're not sure, go back and check that video. Uh, if you're okay with that, we can move on to the next part then. I'm gonna talk about these two most common types. So there's two real kind of common types of relays that you get. You might hear um, the, the wording banded around, which is normally open and normally closed. So what that effectively means is in its resting position like this one here, this is a normally open. You see the contact switch positions are open. If you're not sure, sometimes if you check on the actual um, box of the relay, you can see here, for example, where the switches are and they're both open. So it gives you an indication of that type of relay and the same for this one as well. Okay, so you can see the switch position just there is open. If this was a normally closed relay, you would expect to see that switch position closed. Okay, so it gives you a bit of an idea of what switch position it's in. So if I just take this top off, you can take these tops off. Um, you have to be quite careful. Um, there's kind of little clips on the side. And you can get them open, you can have a little look inside. And you can see there, so, so we said it's normally open. And you can see that's the terminals. When I press it, it closes those contact points. Okay, so we've got four pins on here. We want to have a look at what all these pins do and uh, how to check them. So I'm just going to draw a pretty basic diagram so we can have a look, see what it looks like. So just bear with me. So that'll be your coil winding. So that's that part. So you call that your primary side of the relay. And then we've got the switch. So if you imagine, that's your relay in the box, and that's the five pin, but in this example, we've got the four pin, so it's your one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, looking at the numbers on the um, bottom of the relay, most of them use these numbers 30, 87, 85, and 86. This one isn't numbered on here. Or sometimes you can get the one, two, three, four, and five. So like in this example here, you've got the one in the brackets, four and five, but we still have the 86, 87, 30, and actually instead of having a two, we've got a T uh, just there. So we're just gonna take you through what these um, numbers are. So let's start with the primary side, which is this part, the coil winding. So your power supply coming into the relay to power up the relay is your uh, 86, okay? So it's 86 or in brackets, I'll just put one, because that's sometimes pin number one. And then on this side, then you've got your 85, which is sometimes a two, or could be a T in this example, we've used a T. Okay. So that will then go to your earth. Okay. Now, whether that goes directly to earth or sometimes that could be earthed for a control unit, you need to check the particular wiring diagram for your application. But just as an example there, we'll just go straight to earth. And then over on this side, then this will be where your supply comes in from uh, a switch. So we can draw a small switch in here. And then that will typically go off to some form of positive power supply. That again, that could come from an ECU, um, which is powering that. Again, you need to check your um, wiring diagram. But effectively what we're saying is there, we've got a small switch. So similar to this, we've got a small micro switch. Okay, that once that closes, you'll get a live supply coming into here. It'll power up this coil winding. So that part, that will then close the switch, okay? So let's take a look at the top side then. So your power coming in is terminal 30 or sometimes a three. And then your power going out is 87. And that can sometimes be a uh, five or a four. So depending on your type of relay, so like I'm here, we've got dual output. So we've got 87 and 87A, so five and four. So typically, if it's a four pin, you'll see a number five 
Okay, so that output then will go to whatever your consumer is. So let's say it's a motor. And then that will go down to an earth. Okay, so where your power supply here, then that is likely to come from um, your battery. Let's just say that's my battery, it's going down to earth. And then we would have a fuse. That'll be my fuse in this example. And then that goes straight to your battery. Okay, so it's a very simple um, wiring diagram. Sometimes if you're going through and testing these, it's a good idea to, to write one up. It really helps you kind of understand how the, the actual relay works. And when you're testing it, it gives you a bit of an idea of what you're looking for. Okay, so I'm just going to write some of these numbers down again, just so you can see it. So, one, two, three, four, and five. So one, I'll put that in the brackets, is 86, which is your, your positive coil winding. And your two, or T, Put that in there as well 85 which is your uh, earth or negative for your coil okay then we've got your pin 3 which is your 30 which is your positive on your battery supply So 12 volts, we'll say there. And then you've got your pin four and pin five. So pin four is typically your 87A. And then pin five is normally your 87. That's if you've got a four pin relay. So typically 87 on a four pin relay, and that's your output. Okay, 87A can also be your uh, output as well. If you've got a dual output relay, um, so when I say output, that's your output to your consumer. Okay, so if you've got um, a normally open relay, you'd have 87. Sometimes if you've got a normally closed relay, it may be called 87A. Okay, but they're your outputs to your to your consumer. All right. So that's it, guys, uh, in this part of the um, video. If you want to find out a little bit more. Uh, check my next video out where well, I'm going to do some testing on these pins here and show you how you can actually test uh, the relay when you've got it out. Okay, thanks for watching.